In 1872, medicine was revolutionized. The Russian Empire opened the first formal medical school for women. Letting women become doctors transformed medicine and saved lives. But how and at what scale? In my research, I study some of the first female physicians who lived over 150 years ago. To do this, I had to face two fundamental challenges. First was finding the data. I digitized documents from libraries in three different countries, covering over 350 counties of the Russian Empire over 35 years. These records track the numbers of male and female physicians, healthcare infrastructure, and vital statistics like births and deaths, all in rural counties of the Russian Empire where each doctor mattered. Importantly, I was able to pinpoint the year in which a county hired its first female physician. The second challenge was identifying the causal effect of hiring women on health outcomes. I used the statistical method called the staggered difference in differences design, which compares changes in health outcomes in counties that hired a female physician in a given year to changes in those outcomes in counties that had not yet hired a female physician in that year. I find that female physicians reduced infant mortality by over 140 deaths in an average year in county. But why were female physicians so much more effective than the male physicians? First, letting women become doctors allowed some of the most talented women to redirect their potential to healthcare. Health outcomes improved for everyone. Young men and women died less, and so did hospital patients. Smallpox vaccines increased. Second, women started going to doctors more. In patriarchal societies, women would often avoid seeking care from male physicians out of shame or mistrust. When counties hired their first female physicians, their reliance on untrained midwives decreased, while births in hospitals increased, making it safer for both mothers and children. Overall, I find that female physicians improved health outcomes for everyone. But unfortunately, today, due to inequalities in both education and the workforce, there are still many countries with very few female physicians, especially in rural areas. And as my research shows, alleviating these inequalities is imperative for all of our health and well-being. Thank you.